What's going on YouTube? Here I have my toolkit for my vehicle. This is in there every day and I want to show you what's special about it and why I've picked the tools I've picked to put in there. So this pack is about six inches by let's say nine inches. So it's very compact, it's small, but there's a lot of functionality and a lot of thought behind these tools. So I'll just get this one out of the way. This is just a basic pen in case I need a pen to sign some paperwork or anything like that. Up next, I have a pry bar. This is about seven inches long. And, you know, sometimes you get things lodged in your fenders or, you know, let's say your timing belt came off and you need to get it to the appropriate area where it can latch on. Or let's say something is out of place and you can pry it up. So these are only about four or five dollars. Uh, I work construction, so, you know, I'm used to using pry bars all day. Here I have a crescent wrench. I'm not sure what brand this is. It's probably Walmart. Nothing too special. You could probably pick this up for a couple dollars. But this is helpful because it gets the general, you know, bolts. You can take off your battery terminals to clean them if you need to. Uh... So it has a lot of adjustment for a lot of use. And I definitely would recommend this for your number one tool in your vehicle because I've had to help people, you know, jumpstart their car or clean their battery terminals. And this gets the job done every time. Here I have a bit extender that is, you know, it bends so you could get hard to reach it places so I do have another tool that goes with this and here I have some zip ties it's good to carry zip ties in your vehicle wire management if a car part falls off or maybe you lose a clamp to your vehicle you could use zip ties to at least maintain it until you could properly fix something on the back of this pack I have a light and I got this light at Costco.com for about let's say 20 20 to 25 dollars it's rechargeable it shows the battery life here uh, you could also in emergencies charge your cell phone you can also you know angle the light to whichever direction you need I also have this carabiner here so I can hang the light if I need to from the hood of my vehicle to get the area lit up if it's dark outside. Now, it's just a simple on and it has a pretty bright beam. I love this flashlight. I've had it for quite a few years now. We'll say five, it's pretty dirty. I will use it at work sometimes. So the benefit of having, you know, multi-purpose things in your vehicle. So here you can kind of see the bag overall. Nothing too special about it. I picked this up at Goodwill for probably about $5. And I just made a bag where in emergencies, I can fix my problems of my car. Now this is a new addition to this bag. I debated putting this flashlight in there, but this is a Fiat electric flashlight. You could probably find something similar to this on Amazon, but it just has a light the this is also rechargeable so here's high low and if you double tap the top it turns red hit it again it now flashes red so in emergency situations where you need to be seen by the roadway you can easily put this on the car so no one runs into you so there's green and blue and i got this at costco.com for about two of these for about $25 it was on sale and there's also a headlamp attachment to this and with this type of clip on the back you could clip it to your t-shirt and you could have your hands free while working with a flashlight here I have a Roku knife there's no, nothing special about this I believe it costs $20 it has a glass breaker it is spring loaded so it has a pretty good action I believe these went up with inflation. I saw one for $50 the other day. 
and I bought it for about 20. So great little pocket knife. I would always suggest having a pocket knife in your vehicle. Up next, I have a tire repair kit. So if you don't know how to use these, I would definitely watch some YouTube videos on how to use them. I've worked on a, worked in a tire shop for years and I've patched a lot of tires. So this is probably about $7 at a, you know, AutoZone or O'Reilly's. So this is a great tool to have. Um, I work construction, so, you know, the probability of me running over a nail is highly likely. <clears throat> Here I have a Klein's Mini Ratchet. So it's about four inches long. There's nothing too special about this. And here I could put my bit extender on and get hard to reach places with this. It also comes with an assortment of different bits. There is a quarter inch adapter here. So I should probably throw my battery terminal socket in this bag, but I don't have any spare sockets to actually throw in here. Here is a probably cheap multi-tool from Walmart. This probably costs $7, but needle nose pliers, pliers, wire cutters, a knife. Uh, I'm guessing that's a reamer or a small knife that looks like a flathead. And there is a bottle opener there plus another flathead. Here is a... I don't want to call this a saw because it's not very sharp, but <laughs> it has a file and it comes to a, I don't even know what that's for. And this looks like, I don't know what that's for either, but end of story, it has some basic tools that you can use for your vehicle or in emergency. Up next, I have a hooded poncho. I got this from Goodwill. It was about $1.50. You could probably pick it up at Walmart as well. It's an affordable thing, and if it is raining and you need to work on your vehicle or need to leave your vehicle behind, you can keep dry. This is a power bank. This can charge my cell phone up to, let's say, 10 times, I want to say. I don't know if this brand's still on Amazon, but I believe it's like... 40,000, I don't, M-A-H, I want to say. Here, I'll show you the back. So I feel like in an emergency, if you need to make a phone call for a tow truck and you're in the middle of nowhere and you need someone to help you out, this is a good thing to have because communication can save you. Here, I have a battery terminal cleaning tool. So pretty basic function. This does come in handy. This is to clean inside the terminal and this is to clean the battery terminal. So great tool. This is only about $5 or so. I would definitely recommend having this. Sometimes batteries uh, create acid on the terminals where it doesn't let the battery function right. So I would definitely recommend keeping this tool in your vehicle. Uh, I do have some extra bits. These are just T-bits. Probably don't need to be in there. Here I have a bit extender. This is DeWalt, so if I don't need to have that bit extender on there, I can have this, and this does angle up to five degrees. So I do have some versatility with this tool. Here I just have a basic big lighter. This is just for emergency, if I need to burn something. Here I have a universal socket. This is on Amazon for about $15. These work okay for about what the price is. This is to get something tightened down in a pinch. It's not ideal, but I wish I had something great to show you. But pretty much, if it doesn't fit in the right place, you can put it up in the corner and you will be able to turn it like it is turning now. 
I don't think it will turn in. Oh, it does connect in the center. You can also turn odd shaped objects. So here is a carpenter pencil and I'll just stick it in there and you can see how it kind of adjusts to the size of that pencil. So great tool to keep in your car as well. And here I just have another packet of bits. So you probably don't need any of these bits, but I would definitely recommend a few tools and I'll just go over them one more time. I would say a, uh, whatever tool this is, a flashlight. And then I would also recommend maybe a battery terminal kit, a tire repair kit, and also maybe one flathead. And that should get most of everything in your battery if you need to take things apart and this can get most of your bolts but i like carrying all this extra gear and i hope you enjoy this video make sure to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys later